On our wine tours, we like to do things a bit differently. The winemakers treat us as friends and family. They invite us into their cellars and homes. We get to hear their family stories, learn the secrets of their homemade recipes for jam and salami, and of course, taste their beautiful wines. We say that wine is just the beginning. On our wine tours, we use wine as the window to give us an insight into the real people who farm the land, their stories, their history, their culture. It really is engaging with the region using all five senses. Each generation, each family has made their own decisions as you know, you've gone through brothers and sisters and things. And so now we're actually the only branch of the family still living here. So we're, we're still living on Land, Angus land, land that here. was taken up by the yeah. family yes. in the 1830s or 40s. Most people leave with a sense of it's changed something inside them and that to us is the best compliment we could ever get. <laughs> I think wine is one of the ways to actually meet real Australians. Through them we learn about the history, the culture, the heritage of the wine region. We use luxury vehicles for small groups. I'm your expert guide. I'm a master of wine. Really everything is here in one complete package. It isn't just for wine lovers. It's a tour for adventurous gourmet travellers. So these are our little homemade pizzas for lunch. We like to say we take people beyond the cellar door. It just demystifies the whole thing and makes it into something fun and enjoyable and adventurous. The Barossa Valley has some of the oldest vines in the world. Some of them planted in 1843, 1848, and on our wine tours, we get to walk through those vines and to taste the wine they're still making. It really is like tasting history. It's an unforgettable experience. These are our 1848 planting of bushvine Grenache in the Barossa, so making it basically the world's oldest continuously producing Grenache vine. And as you can see, they're basket woven and hand pruned. So every, every vine is pruned by me. And for the last 40 years, only my father and I have pruned this vineyard. On our wine tours, we visit some of the famous wineries, also some of the lesser known ones. And some of the wineries have surprises in store that you won't believe. The only place in the world that has the, a collection of Tawny Port going from 1878 all the way through to the current vintage. So we are about to taste birth years. As a master of wine, my life is all about wine and I wake up every morning excited about wine. I think the Barossa Valley is one of the most exciting places in the world and the wine tours we do are my idea of a perfect day in wine country.